So we're playing a little bit of a uh, blast from the past in terms of more so trying to have that kind of nostalgic feel to it. I guess this is from the past. It is somewhat old. Good old PlayStation 3 game. Trying to mimic old school style Zelda games. As you saw, it has from software involvement, which is cool. So now we can officially say we're playing the Dark Souls of Zelda games. This is 3D Dot Game Heroes. It is pretty cool. I went through the effort of platinum this game back in the day. Pay no attention to the way I said platinum. Um, I also kind of have... I think I have the save data in a bit of a weird state here. But I think everything should work out fine enough the way I want to. Uh, let's just start a new game. Uh, if you saw there was an editor, you can technically create your own character, which is pretty neat. There's also, like, a million characters that they have just by default. Also, I think in the patch, uh, at some point you could probably see it. Through, like, the one patch this game got, they added some characters from, I think, some kind of contest. You can see that it says, like, who made these. They were just added here. There's this weird-looking chicken. Uh, they all have, like, kind of unique animations. Basically, when you create a character, you can create the pose for the action kind of thing. Maybe we'll look at that a little bit later, but for now, we'll just play as default from I high HP and sword play. Uh, if you see with all these other characters, they have the little parentheses, hero, royal, um, I think scholar is the other one. There we go, Scholar. Uh, it'll kind of affect like how much HP compared to magic you have. Hero will have more HP. That's fine. Also, I don't know what the deal with that copyright button is, that triangle. But we won't worry about that. Let's just go on and play the game. We can change characters whenever we want. But we might do that a bit later. And we'll just call ourselves... Eh, we'll change our name. I'm Rogue Mechanist. That's me. I'm only going to call myself Rogue because it's a lot easier. And also, I doubt there's enough space for Mechanist. We'll do that. I need it to, like, think about where I would go to stop typing. In a distant past, a small land called Dotnia Kingdom prospered. The peace was upheld by the six magical orbs and their six guardian sages. But the Dark King coveted the power. He captured the sages and hid the orbs. Evil monsters besieged the kingdom, but just when hope was lost, a young man with a sacred sword arrived to rescue the six sages. All of the sages love it. Each sage empowered the youth with their orbs, and the light orb was formed. In the fierce battle that followed, when the youth pierced the Dark King, the light orb shined, trapping him inside a pulsing dark orb. The youth was hailed as a hero, and tales of his bravery spread. The kingdom prospered, and the story brought visitors from afar. But the tale of the brave hero faded into myth. As the kingdom lost its charm, the visitors from other lands dwindled. Where did everyone go? King Tezro launched an inquiry seeking answers. That's how the king sounds. Where did everyone go? It became clear to him people had lost interest in 2D worlds, and so... The king boldly declared... This is the age of 3D! Before it began and hope dawned on the kingdom as it upgraded to 3D. But the king's plans were interrupted by disturbing news. 
The Dark Orb was stolen by Fuel, a Dark Bishop with an evil plan. As monsters filled the fields again, the people could only pray. For the emergence of a young hero like the One of Legends. Oh, also, I didn't really talk about it because it didn't seem to matter. The uh, load screens are all based on, like, box art for a bunch of video games. It's pretty cool. The Dark King is sealed but not slain. Calamity may strike our kingdom again one day. He's a, a great hero from the past, so you gotta... I must leave this sword. You gotta make him sound like a hero. In the sacred forest, in case that comes to pass. Uh, I cannot do anything with the options right now. So, like, volume's a bit low. There's also, like, some saturation stuff I can do. I will do that as soon as I can. In the forest, north of the castle, the sword will be preserved. I cannot go into town. Nay, I shan't go into town. But we have a pretty big sword. It's a pretty cool sword. Kind of, I guess I would say the main gimmick of the game, not just the, uh... 3D Zelda, but you know how like in Zelda you got kind of like the beam sword technique when you are at full health. That's basically what the gimmick here is, is your sword is long and girthy and sexy when you're at full health, and when you're not at full health you might as well die. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now we don't really have anything to worry about or do, I'm just killing things for fun. I don't think there's any reason to either. It's kind of a decent way to just get you a little bit familiar with the game. I know that one day a brave soul will claim it and overcome all evil. Long live, Donia. Wake up, wake up, sleepyhead. So are you, sleepy bum? That's me. Good morning, did you sleep well last night? Eh? You had a strange dream. Was it a dream about the hero who defeated the Dark King? Everyone has that dream. You're not special. Monsters have been so aggressive lately, I wouldn't doubt it. True heroes dream in 3D, so that's how you can really tell. Thank, thank you. Are you guys still dream in 2D? Is it like when people dreamed in black and white back in the day because TVs were black and white? Apparently that's a real thing. Look it up, Google it. Excuse me, I understand someone named Rogue is here. That's me. Oh, oh no, have you committed a crime or something? My name is Rogue, it's quite possible. Oh, so you're a rogue. Come with me. The king requests your presence at the castle. Onward. Look at my little wiggle walk. Thank you for coming, rogue! Our kingdom is in great peril once again! That is why I need your help, descendant of the legendary hero, me? I didn't know that. Must be an estranged child. The hero who saved our kingdom left a sword in the northern forest. I believe you are the one who can pull the sword from its stone. If so, you are destined to save our kingdom. The problem is, no one has actually found the sword to this very day. It wasn't very far away, King. But, as a descendant of the legendary hero, I know you can do it. Will you venture north of the castle to obtain the legendary sword? Nah. Rogue, haha, <laughs> good show! That was a joke, yes? I played a fair share of pranks in my day, too. Let's try this again. Will you bring back the legendary sword? Uh, I believe this is just infinite. I don't think there's a bonus for continuing to do this. Rogue, you're indeed of the hero's brave bloodline. Thank you! It's so dangerous to be alone. Take this. That's a reference to Zelda. Did you know this is Zelda? Look, we got a sword. Got sword. Got shield. I 
I have faith that you are the hero of legend. Thank you. Look at our dinky sword. I guess this is kind of to teach us more so the sword technique, but it's, it's a little sword, a little dinky. It's fine. The sword lies in the sacred forest located north of the castle. Thank you. Have you heard about Princess Iris? No. She threw caution to the wind to search for the stolen dark orb. And she hasn't come back. His majesty wouldn't say anything, but he must be in terrible pain. He seems fine, honestly. Well, please find the princess. Okay. We're, we're in there now. I can't use the map in here. Probably should have actually just paid attention to the little indication of what we can do. So now I can go into the options. Basically, it seems like every uh, save file has their own options. So I'm just going to blast this to like half. And hope that that is decent enough. And brightness too, as well as color. Because I think it could use a little brightening. Maybe it'll be oversaturated. Who knows? Uh, grid just lets you see each... Uh... They're not pixels, by the way. Just a little fun fact. They're voxels. That's what the 3D ones are. They're, they're voxels. I'm going to put loading screens on because I like the loading screen art. I don't know how much slower that might be. We might turn that off eventually. And then we can speed this the heck up so I don't have to click it every time. Now we should be good. Maybe I'll turn the saturation down like a smidge. But sadly, I couldn't just like preempt these options, which I would have preferred to do. Eh, that's fine. I think that's fine. I, I, little pop of color. Little bonus color. Alright, hold R to guard. Our shield is dinky, so I don't think it helps much. This says enemy attacks. I don't really know what it's capable of at the moment. Have you pressed triangle yet? That's how you equip weapons and use items. Yep. Ain't that something. You know that X uses your sword, but do you know the spin slash? Yeah. And you have learned all I have to teach you. Godspeed! You can, you can spin. Some weapons cannot spin. We'll get to that when we get to that. I've got this demon game. Want to trade me? It's too hard. I don't got nothing to trade you for, but yeah. What is it? Demon souls? Let's use wish. Let us wish. What am I saying? Let us wish the warrior well. May the light be they, thy strength. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that the light? Whoa. The light. My strength. It's here. You know that losing all their life is game over? How outrageous it is. Care to know about the legendary sword? Sure, I like lore. It was hidden in the sacred forest by the hero who saved Dotnia. Legend says that only a hero who shows true courage can wield it. I hope you're the one to show true bravery. Nah. Camera angle can be changed in the options. You should find a camera angle that suits you. Yeah, that is an option. I don't think we can actually do that right now. I'm probably just going to keep it as default. Yeah, keep the camera. It just, like, zooms it out, zooms it in a bit more. We're going to always be in this kind of asymmetric viewpoint. I have faith that you are the one. Neo, it's you. Oh, I worry for dear Princess Iris. All right. So, like, I don't even think they kind of bring up the whole changing from pixelated to voxel 3D style because, you know, the times have changed. I don't think that really comes up much. Maybe the villain is mad about that. What's on today's menu? I'm starving here. Huh? You, you heard nothing. If you did, forget it. Prepare for the journey in the western village called Ray Jake. Ray Jack. I don't know if I can go there yet. I might have to just go straight for the hero sword. I'm allowed? Let's go. We're never gonna get that sword. Doesn't really matter. We, we need the sword. We'll go worry about the sword later. Look at this dog. Whimper, whimper. Thank you, dog. This doggy is so friendly, maybe he thinks he's human. Oh, yeah. Dogs do that. The monsters make it too hard to leave town. Says you. Look, I'm leaving town right now. Hello. You can register your revival point by saying the night at an end. Yep. Isn't 3D great? I think a 3D mech game would be a blockbuster. Would you play it? Yep. This guy right here is annoying. We'll get to him when we get to him. Need a room? Nah. I have no money. Maybe I should have just gone and got the sword. 
We're gonna have to come through here anyways, but... Now, I'm gonna put this out there. I am not gonna know all of the video game references in the loading screens. Ray J. Ack Village. There's a cave here. What's in the cave? Mysterious well, if you throw money in it, good things may come. 20 G per game. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where there's like one super item that you want to get out of that. Again, we have no money and we must scream. We cut grass for money. It's like this is a Zelda. Sorry. Here there's a sword north of the castle. Yep. The blacksmith can strengthen swords. Have you seen them yet? No. We'll find a temple in the grass to the west. Want to see some magic? Ham Nepo at Serp. Why would you say that like that? You were just tell me about the cool map. I lose sleep wondering if the Dark King will return to this world. Nah, you're fine, girl. Isn't he already, like, out? I liked how things looked in 2D, but 3D isn't bad either. Let's start rummaging through houses. There's a slime over there. I am an inventor and name's Dick. Say, do you want to try out my latest creation? I call him Dash Boots. Yep. Great, let's do it. Uh, message from Dr. Dick. Dash Boots, complete it. Get your weapons ready. Get equipped with Dash Boots. Got the Dash Boots. Very important stuff here. I always wanted to do that. Thanks. Now you can press square to dash. Now we can charge up a dash and bang. Right in the walls. Great for getting around. Not very useful when you have a baby sword like this. I am Bluesy the Slime. I dream of becoming a human someday. Nice of you to just chill in town. I'm gonna open everyone's chests. When I go up, I want to be the hero who defeats the Dark King. Yeah! Have you ever run into a lightning quick monster? In my youth, that beast gave me a terrible time. Will you exact revenge in my name, young one? Let's see if you can slay about ten of them. Yes, ten should do it. How's that sound? Yeah, great, you can do it. It's very agile, though. Try to corner it. Yeah, I'm gonna steal everything. 1G, awesome! 10G, fantastic! Got 1G, awesome! Okay, don't care that I stole your life savings. It's his life. I've heard that a magic mirror was lost in a poisonous bog. Where's my sister gone now? I tell fortunes to keep our family afloat. I t Yo, okay. I, for some reason, I thought she was saying her sister's name was Fortune. And then it slips right through her fingers. Story of my life. Hey, you there. Are you the hero I've heard so much about? Yeah. I knew it. I could tell by the sight of you. I can sense a great destiny in you. Can I read your fortune? It's on the house, hero. Yeah. Then give me your hand. I see a bright light shining inside of you. Hmm, but you aren't the hero I'm looking for. Oh. Get out of my way, guy in door. What up? I know he'll choose me. I'm the only girl worthy of being his wife. I know he'll choose me. We've been friends our entire life. I'm getting married, but who should I choose? My childhood friend or the daughter of a wealthy family? I'm so torn. I was leaning towards my childhood friend, but I've got to be honest. I like the rich girl's spell set better. Who should I choose? My childhood friend? Yeah. Oh, I knew that would be the right choice. Thanks. You should choose both. Yeah, listen, lady. He's not choosing you. Unless if he doesn't take my advice, in which case, a bad game. They said choices mattered, but they don't. I think I am missing a house of great importance. Probably this, these ones. Look at that just normal soccer ball. I'd love to let you play our dash cricket game, but you see I can't because I'm about to ace this thing. So come back soon, will ya? I didn't really 
put the affliction on Ace there. Well, welcome! Tough shield that wards off spears. I think that's just projectiles. Alright, this is less of a weapon shop and more of a general goods store. But here's the here's the guy. Psst, wanna know the infinity money code? Yeah, right, earn it yourself. Thank you. Imagine if that dude just actually had the code in the first town. Swords have a maximum potential for upgrading. Think before you act. And forge the sword you're carrying now. What would you like? And this this has no potential. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> this is why I should have just gone straight for the sword. No potential. No weapon power. So, dashing is cool, but... The knockback sucks. Every time you turn when you're dashing, you also gain more speed. When you transition to a screen like this, so you uh, lose the dash. It's tragic, but that's life. You can jump down ledges. I can just go completely off... Off course here. Culinary Village. Oh, Got the village is so close here. Whole nother town. Probably shouldn't have even come this way. I've never been to a spa in my whole life. We have so much water here, but no spas. Do you think you could bring me a spa? Yes, you can do it. I believe in you. The monsters are making it hard to catch fish. I wish there was an easier way to get to the other side. Dumb canals. Stupid. Also, I think there's another building in town that I missed. The other town. Our town is running out of food at this rate. This child will starve. Mommy, I'm hungry. Yeah. They're dying. You see how massive their beds are? Monsters are scary. I can't go outside. I think this is another dash, dude. Dash ranking. Yay. I let you play our new dash circuit, but I'm too close to the end. Come back later. Alright, those all seem like fake names. I was wondering if they were real people or not. Welcome to my store. Take your time. Potions? I think I need the, uh... I need bottles for those. This is just the end. I don't think there's really that much that I can explore at the moment in town. You can imagine I need to come here later. If I'm getting distracted by looking around. This is bad. Thank you. So a thing that kind of sucks with this game, and I don't think I need to come this way yet, but it's very easy to miss things. Um, you can't just 100% the game by just playing it normally and then finding stuff there will be things that you'll miss if you progress too far. Meow, 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 meow. So I'm, I'm not going to go much farther into town here. I don't... I know, like, going farther, I'm not going to be able to. But I am going to try my best to kind of use a guy to try to do everything. In particular, that one guy in the inn in the first town. He had, um... The one that talked about making a mech game. He is basically part of a very prolonged... That rabbit almost got me. A very prolonged side quest. It requires you to basically check in with him after you do, like, anything. And it's worth it. But, you know, if you, uh, don't check in on him, then you lose out and game over, and now I'm dying. Rabbits are killing me. We're okay. I think for the most part, he's the bigger issue with the uh, checking back in, but like I said, I'm gonna be using a guide after I do like a dungeon or something. You found the sign? You're good. It's your sign. Oops, this is a fairy fountain. I didn't think the text would come up, but I it it's a fairy fountain. In case you were wondering. I know that one, that's a fan fantasy. I I meant to say it silly, 
but then I said it just a little too silly. It was Final Fantasy. That's that's all. North Taker Forest. No one's ever found a sword here. Uh, I really do want to kill things. I need to kill things for money. We need money. These crown enemies, I think, are mainly just faster. So, again, obviously, this is uh, based on old school Zelda. And you might say, oh, well, that's kind of messed up that they're ripping off Zelda. From Soft, I thought you guys had original ideas and not just stealing from Berserk. Like, I'm, I'm saying that more as a joke, but... Um, I, I would say it's... I, I think it's fine, because... Like, what else was... Zelda wasn't exactly doing old-school Zelda at the time of... this game coming out. I mean, they still aren't, they did a remake of Link's Awakening, which is cool, but... Oh, I'm dying. These guys are a little annoying because you, uh... The shadows aren't, like, the best way to get a uh, feel for where they are. I feel anyways. Sometimes the, uh, move to 3D doesn't quite translate well to certain boss designs. But we did it. We beat the boss. We finally did the one task we were supposed to do. There's an old sword stuck deep inside its stone base. Pull it out? Yeah. You know what they say, I'm the pullout king. Got the ancient sword. Wow! The true hero has finally emerged! Oh, my apologies. My name is Lee, and I've been waiting for you. Please tell me your name, great hero. Ah, Rogue? Such a fitting name for a hero. Huh? The legendary hero is your ancestor? No wonder that sword looks so right for you. I just know you're the one who will save the world, Master Rogue. But the road you walk is a dangerous one. That is why I wish to accompany you. I swear, I'll be useful. Cute little jingle. Lee, join the party. Let us return to the king with the proof that you are a hero. See, from soft ripping off Berserk again, we just got Puck. They just can't help themselves. So this sword has the beginning aspect. Good thing is it has rotation. If we look, it might be easier to look at it like this. So you can see the uh, blacked out stars is basically the potential what we would be able to upgrade with the blacksmith. So we can make it bigger and wider and stronger too. We can also give it something called Pierce, which you want to give swords. I think realistically the best thing you want to do is go length, strength, and Pierce. And rotation. Sometimes swords will not have the spin power, but what Pierce will do is, if you notice, hitting this bush kind of sucks. Pierce will make it so we don't have to worry about hitting the bush. Very cool stuff. I think at the moment, too, we probably would focus... Oh, and now we have Dinky Sword, because I got hit. Now, I think... I believe the uh, yellow... Because when you upgrade, you get white stars. I believe the yellow stars are going to be just default settings. So when we're at low potential, that's just what it's going to be like. Well, I don't know how that works with strength, but basically what that means is that spin will be available on that sword even when we are at l l lower health. But I believe that if you uh, had to upgrade the sword to have that potential, then if you get hit and you have Dinky Sword, it will uh, it will basically not have that skill set to it. You might have noticed too that it's a kind of a big location to have the uh also one thing that's very helpful with pierce is we don't run into this situation with dash which is why we always want pierce 
And because I talked about that, I completely lost my train of thought on the other thing that I was going to say. But we'll just move on. Let's go chill with the king. It's a weird little graphical thing with the loading screen. Don't recall that happening. That is the Sword of Legend! You are indeed the true hero! Now listen carefully! Onyx, the Dark King, brought a dark age upon the kingdom, but... The hero, with the aid of the six sages, sealed him inside a dark orb. And now that dark orb has been stolen, the thief's name is Fuel. Deeming himself a dark bishop, he believes he can wield the orb. And with Onyx's power, he plans on taking over the entire world. The only way to stop him is with the six legendary orbs of the six sages. I beseech you, rogue, please find the six orbs and six sages to bring peace to the land. Nah. I understand how you feel, rogue, but that answer doesn't advance the story. You could have guessed that. Now, take two. Will you find the six orbs and the six sages? No. Okay. Ah, rogue, I knew you would shoulder this burden. Thank you. The spirit of your heroic ancestors must be beaming with pride. Oh, the one hand ancestor. This isn't like Rogue Legacy. The six orbs are located in the six aging temples throughout the kingdom. First head to the grass temple to the west. You can do it, Rogue. I believe in you. Onward. Dash to victory. Going out here. What up? Is the world going to end? I don't even have a girlfriend yet. Aw. I understand the field, dude. The health... Uh, the heath where the Dark Tower resides is called... Now, meow, meow, live. There we go. Valley. It used to be a tourist spot, but fuel turned it into a poisonous marsh. It's not easy to walk in. Not that I'm trying to discourage you. Don't tell me what to do. Fuel the Dark Bishop was stolen. The Dark Orb is only mortal, but he wants to become the Dark King. Quite an audacious fella, eh? I think we can actually just dash straight through enemies, though, which is nice. Phil intends to use the Dark King's power to take over the world. He's mad! Please put an end to his schemes, Rogue. Yeah. I can do it. I'm the hero. 